Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. As you can see, I did not sell my Husqvarna because uh, the guy flaked on me. He's like, oh yeah, I'll come after work. Never contacted me. I'm not going to go contact him. If he wants it, he knows where, how to contact me. Uh, you don't want to get your hopes up sometimes when it comes to selling because uh, in my experience, there's so many flakes out there, you know? People are so unreliable, especially when there are no consequences, you know what I mean? Like for eBay, if you don't pay, you get a unpaid strike, and then you can leave negative feedback, you know what I mean? And if you have negative feedback, people aren't going to buy from you or sell to you, you know what I mean? So those are consequences through the feedback system with OfferUp, LetGo, Craigslist, and Facebook Marketplace. There's feedback, but those aren't really consequences, you know what I'm saying? If they don't want to show up and buy your thing, they don't have to. So um, that's just the way it is. So I don't get my hopes up anymore on, on selling things. If they want it, I have it. You can buy it if you want, you know what I mean? So uh, it was good to get this started up and see how it runs and stuff. So I'm gonna start this up again after charging the battery overnight. Should be good for at least a couple of um, starts. Park in the backyard today. I have to mow the backyard today and uh, do a little bit of weed whacking. I got these uh, socket holders from uh, Don Whalen. Told you I would try to use them. So yesterday afternoon, my friend Nick from Bellport came by and uh, he asked me if I had a starter for an opposed twin. And I did because I was planning on rebuilding an opposed twin. But I don't think I have all the parts, so I don't think I'm gonna build it. So uh, he asked me if, I could, if he could have it and I gave it to him. And in return, he gave me this Kohler Courage 20 horsepower engine. He says he thinks it works, but the owner that had uh, this engine on a lawn tractor that he bought says that it doesn't work. But we rotated this and it has compression, feels like it, you know. And it's stiff, see? So I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, maybe one day I'll mount this engine onto another tractor. And uh, we'll figure it out, you know, maybe the synchro balancer is busted or something like that. But it seems like the connecting rod is connected. Uh, seems like it's all here too. So that's a good deal. Uh, I said 20 because this is the cover for this thing. And uh, fortunately for me, the stock engine on this is a Kohler 20. So I took that cover that said 20 on it and put it on. So this thing is completely stock now. Uh, there was something else that was kind of interesting. Uh, I really, I need to mow my backyard, right? And as you guys know, I can't get anything up bigger than a 42 inch deck in the backyard. But I just measured, and this was a 48 inches from that side to this side, right? On the deck. And I just measured my uh, gate and it said like 50. <laughs> that doesn't make, doesn't make any sense, you know? But uh, later after I weed whack the corners and edges and stuff, I'm gonna try to bring this to the backyard and see if I can mow this in the backyard. So I just weed whacked the whole lawn in the back too. I was told to always weed whack first. And then you spread all the clippings around with your mower. So I measured, looked like it was 50 inches between post to post on the gates. And this measures 48. And since this doesn't have a deflector shield on the side, 
there's nothing to lift up. So maybe it might fit in the backyard. Hmm. Should I keep it? No, I'm not gonna keep it. I got a zero turn, which I haven't used by the way this entire year. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys along with me if you wanna watch. So how about that, huh? I did a true test. I mowed the front and the back and at all different speeds. About halfway through the cut in the backyard, I would let go of the gas and it would still move a little bit forward. So I had to jam the uh, shifter into neutral for it to stop. Uh, the brakes wouldn't work either. So I tried to stop using the brakes and I would step on it and nothing would happen. So uh, I think the tensioner arm was too tight because they're brand new um, belts. They're more stiff than if you use them for a while. So I think they were adjusted to be tightened at the time. But then when you change the new belts, you have to reset it back to its original form again, which was uh, a little bit looser tension on the tensioner arm. Uh, I'll show you how I did that. But first, I'm going to put this down to let you see better. And if you look right over here where that moves, this part right there, loosen this nut, take that nut off, take this arm off, then twist this thing. Ah. Uh, Twist it out. I twisted it out like three threads so that that part goes that way more so that it loosens the tension just a little bit. See? Before it was like this, now it's like that. Get it? So that little bit gives you a little bit more slack on the belt so it doesn't bind while the engine's running still, you know? Because they're new belts, they're stiff. I also went back here where the brakes are, the caliper, there's three nuts or bolts. The one on the left and the one on the right holds the caliper onto the brake assembly. The big one in the middle, that's to tighten the, uh, the tension of the brake pads. So I just turned that like uh, three quarter turns tighter and now the brakes work. So it's just an adjustment. So that's what I just did. I had to drop the deck again. It was kind of a pain, but uh, I just went for another 
um, mow, not a mow, but I drove it around the street and the lawn, and now it works perfect. When you let go of the gas pedal, it stops. Before, when you let go of the gas pedal, it would still move a little bit, you know? So now it's not gripping onto the belt because I've loosened the tension. But uh, all in all, this is a really nice mower. It cuts really well. If you look at the blades, they're very sharp, very sharp. And how this goes upwards like that, that's for, that's for mulching because this, is, this acts like one of those uh, sails that brushes the clippings around the inside and allows it to stay inside there a little bit more, move around and have it cut again. So uh, these blades are really good. I gotta tell you, if I didn't already have a Toro Zero Turn that I use as my daily driver, even though I haven't driven it <laughs> at all this season because I've had so many mowers to test, I, would, I didn't have to use my regular mower to mow my lawn. I use the ones that I get and fix. Um, if it wasn't for that, I'd probably keep this now that I know it. I mean, oh, by the way, it barely got through the, the back gate into my backyard. It scratches the uh, post a little bit but it just fits right through. So I'm amazed that a 46 deck would actually fit through my backyard. It's just the way they're angled, you know? Some are angled like this, as this is a little bit, and some are straight. So if it's like a 46, true 46, it's like straight like that, it won't fit. But if it's kind of angled like that, it'll kind of fit, you know what I mean? But very cool, very cool. I like it a lot. So even though this thing turns very well, we're gonna grease the uh, steering fittings anyway. I don't know if anything is getting in there. So I'm pretty satisfied after seemingly 10 or 12 episodes of getting this uh, tractor going, putting an engine in, everything else. Um, I'm pretty satisfied. It's a really nice tractor after all. <laughs> For an MTD, it's pretty good. Um, I guess it's kind of worthy of the Toro name, you know. Uh, to be honest with you, Toro used to make some really good tractors, you know. I'm surprised that they contract MTD to make them now, you know. Um, anyway, that's it. We're done with this completely. There's nothing else to do to it. Uh, I pretty much did everything there was. Today was basically just a true test of how this thing runs and mows the lawn. Um, honestly though, for my front lawn, I'd rather just use a push mower. It looks better because I have a tree where the roots are very high. So being that this deck is so wide, right? If you try to go around the tree, you're gonna scalp some corners, uh, some, some grooves of it, you know? And it doesn't look very good. So because it's not a completely flat yard, like maybe the backyard would be good for a lawn tractor. The front yard, because it has those roots from the tree, it's not completely flat. So it it mows unevenly around the trees, which I don't like, you know. But it was a good test anyway. I mean, I really put it to the test. Last episode, we drove it around the block. Uh, today, I was going fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. Just really abusing it, you know, to see if the everything would hold up, and it did, you know. A little adjustment on the brakes, a little adjustment on the tension arm, and now, uh, honestly, it's flawless, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you wanted to mow backwards, you just turn the key to the white part, almost like the second notch, whatever, and then you press the button for the reverse and operation button, and it lights up red. And that tells you that you're bypassing the uh, PTO switch, where it won't allow you to uh, mow in reverse. But pressing that button allows you to mow in reverse you know honestly what's the point of it if you're just going to do that all the time you know what i mean i guess it makes you think oh before i move back let me look behind me and make sure i don't maul a couple of little kids crawling on the yard you know kids shouldn't be around lawn tractors anyway you know when you're mowing uh, little kids that is anyway thanks a lot for joining me on today's comprehensive test and review of this toro lx460 now 20 horsepower Kohler Courage engine, stock engine on what it's supposed to be. Uh, it's listed for 875. I doubt I'll sell it this year, but uh, I don't care. I kind of like it. You know what I mean? 
Uh, I know I'll sell it next year uh, before spring starts. Some nut will give me the money for it. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey Henry, it's Andy from the UK, aka Mower Wizard. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers really appreciate all the support also to keep the videos coming every day support the channel bye <laughs>